if you have a Fanatec wheelbase, you may be running into a problem with running out of tuning slots for your various sims that you run. And so there is an application to help with that called Fanalab. And I have never downloaded it, never tried to configure it. So this video is going to be of me trying to do that. So if you want an expert on Fanalab, this isn't the video. Um, but I just want to get the bare minimum done. And I figure I might as well make a video as I do it. Um, <clears throat> one thing we need to establish up front is I am going to pronounce this Fanatec, even though I know that the kind of official way from the company is Fanatic. And that's fine. It's just that a lot of us say Fanatec because of the way it's spelled. And um, also, I was thinking, well, if this is pronounced Fanatic, then Fanalab shouldn't be pronounced Fanalab. It should be pronounced Fanalab, uh, which it's not. So anyway, saying Fanatec. I have the CSL DD wheelbase, obviously, and it has five tuning slots available that these can be selected directly from the wheel. Super convenient. The wheel I mostly use is the McLaren GT3 CSL Elite. I also have a CSL Elite WRC round wheel. Uh, but I'm just going to focus on this one for now, for this video. And um, you can select the different tuning settings right from the wheel or from the Fanatec control panel. But there are only five. So I have run out of slots. I have one for ACC, which is also used for Project Cars 2 because I ran out of slots. I, I set up two is for race room racing experience. Set up three is for Dirt Rally 2.0. Set up four is for the formula for the F1 games. And set up five is for R Factor 2. But what about Assetto Corsa? What about Project Cars 1? What about whatever? <laughs> and um, so I'm realizing that I finally will need to start trying to use Fanalab because as I understand it, it can auto detect what sim you're running and load the setting, the tuning settings for that sim. So you could have up to five per sim. I'm probably just going to use setup one for all of them, but um, yeah. So the first question is, how do you get Fanalab? And it's not as obvious as you would have thought. The when you look up when you Google Fanalab, if usually first link is a link to the forums. And we can look at this and see probably 1.69.1 is the latest. Looking down. So we go to this on the forum. This is a description of the latest version of it in the forum. And then uh the actual link is here. So that's what we're going to download. Now, this latest version, which is pretty new, this was posted in December of 2022, uh, edited this month. One of the big deals, I guess, about this new version is this car-dependent auto-loading profile feature. So you can have a profile per car per sim. And uh, that's way more complicated than I want to deal with right now. But it seems like for some people, it's going to be just exactly what they wanted. The only thing I want to point out is that Maurice has made a bunch of profiles for cars. You don't have to use his, but you could download his profiles. It's just that he made these specifically for one of the DD Fanatec DD wheels that has a 15 Newton meter feed force feedback, max force feedback. And so he specifically recommends that you probably don't want to use these for the CSL DD or any other wheel that has less than 15 Newton meters maximum force. So I'm not going to bother with uh, downloading his profiles. And I don't even know that I'm really going to utilize this car dependent auto loading because I, I really just want a setting for the sim um, 
and not to get too hung up on per car. If you have a wheel that's got uh, LEDs for showing revs or whatever, and you want it to match the car in the sim, then sure, you would definitely want uh, a per car setting, not just for the LEDs, but maybe for the tuning also. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to deal with it. At any rate, I am going to go ahead and download this. So I've downloaded the zip. I'm going to use, I believe, the built-in uh, extract option here for Windows. And I'll just go ahead and put it in this directory. And so now I have this new directory and here are the files. And uh, looks like we've got a link to the form, which is probably this post that I was just sharing. Um, there's a PDF to help you with uh, setting up telemetry stuff. Not going to deal with that at the moment. And uh, another PDF for adjustable RPM flash. I don't have RPM LEDs on my wheel, so I'm not going to worry about it. And this MSI file is the installer. So let's install it. Run Fanalab at Windows Startup? Uh, sure. For now. Maybe we'll change that later. But this way I won't have to remember to run it when I run a sim. So it'll already be there to auto-load this tunings. And I'm not going to launch it yet. I just want to finish this up. It added a Fanalab icon to my desktop. So let's just open it, see what happens. I really don't know what to expect. Well, there you go. This is exciting. It has recognized my CSLDD in compatibility mode. This is a big deal to me. I have my CSLDD with the amber, the yellow light showing here. That means it's in compatibility mode, which means it it looks to the to the Sims like a um, a CSW 2.5. I'm not sure what that is, uh, exactly which wheel base that was, but the point is that I use a lot of older Sims, Project Cars, Project Cars 2, Assetto Corsa. They don't have any idea what a CSL DD is. Some of those simply will not recognize the wheel when it's in the when it's in the red PC mode. And so I just always have the wheel in this compatibility mode. At one time, Fanalab would not properly detect a wheelbase that was in compatibility mode. So you may find posts about that on Google. But you can see here, it obviously worked fine. It detected my wheelbase and it knows it's in compatibility mode. And it also detected my wheel. The other interesting thing here is that... Um, it knows I have, I think it knows I have uh, Assetto Corsa and ACC and Automobilista and Automobilista 2 and Dirt Rally 2.0, which are, in fact, all of the sims that I currently have installed. I hadn't even realized that. I have a new gaming PC, and I had slowly been installing things. I don't yet have... Project Cars, Project Cars 2, Race Room Racing Experience, R Factor 2, um, or several other sims installed. So it is correct. It figured out what I did have installed. And these were all Steam games, so that might be helping it find it. You can launch the game from Fanalab. And that way you know for sure that it's aware that you're launching it and it can load the tunings for you. If you're going to play in VR, a lot of these uh, sims require you to launch them in VR from Steam or uh, to set them to VR mode. And uh, what I've understood is that you can start up a, a sim outside of Fanalab, and it will still notice that you have it running and will load the tunings. And that's something that we could certainly test. So, so far we're on a great start, and I'm going to go to the tuning menu, 
And what I would like to show here is that if I compare my Fanatec control panel that's showing what I have in the uh, currently in my five slots, that they match what's shown here because these are the only tunings I have at this point. Um, and if I look down this it looks like they all match and if I go to number two here um, oh it actually changes it on the wheel so on my wheel right now it is in setting number two so you can change your settings from Fanalab or from the control panel but you'll notice that when I change this to two that now the control panel is at two and and if you look, it's matching. If I go to three here, then Fanalab is also on three and the wheel is on three. But what I want to do is have basically setup one be the setup for a given game. So, for instance, I want to assign this one to a set ACC. So how do I do that? Now, since I have just these one, two, three, four, five installed, and in fact, I don't use Automobilista, I use AMS2, so I really only have four, I don't need Fanalab right now, but I am going to get Project Cars and Project Cars 2 and Race Room and R Factor and maybe the F1 games reinstalled, and I'm going to run out of slots. So, as I understand it, here's what you do. Is I go to Game Profile, and I say, for instance, currently modifying the Game Profile for ACC. Because uh, I selected it over here. And if I didn't already have the settings for ACC, I can click on this, and it will open the browser to the recommended settings for this for the PC on the forum. Now, as a CSL DD user, you will find that some of them, some CSL DDs appear right here in the main post for like the newer Sims. But like uh, for uh, Dirt, Rally, I think that Dirt Rally 2.0, it does not have it in the main post. And you have to start going through the comments and just finding someone who says, well, this is what I use. And then tune it from there to your preference. So I already have these settings for the CSLDD set for ACC. And they are, in fact, in my number one slot and I would like to just leave my wheel set to the first slot so I can now say this is my general ACC tuning and I'm going to save it and I believe the green check means that's the one that's active since I don't have more than one profile name I don't have to pick which one is the default I believe if I um, created another one, which I'm actually just going to make it be the same. Um, if I picked another one, now it's saying that this one is active, but uh, the, I can actually decide which one to set as the default. Um, I don't actually need this one. I'm just going to have general at this point, but I'm going to set that as the default. And this one that I created, I'm just going to delete. Yes. So now I've got general, and that should be the one it loads when I load the uh, sim. And it should have all of these settings. So now what I'm going to do is Dirt Rally 3.0 has been in my slot 3. And I want to save it to slot 1 for my Dirt Rally 2.0 pre preferred tuning. This is one of those that if you go to the recommended settings, it doesn't have 
CSLDD in the in this main post. So I just had to look down through the comments and take someone's recommendations and they seem okay to me. I just haven't ever tuned them for myself, but that's how I ended up with these ones that I have in slot three. So I am, uh, I took a picture of these settings and I want to have them in slot one. There's probably a way to move them between the slots, but I don't know what that is. So what I'm going to do is go back to slot one that's set up right now for ACC for me. And I am going to change this slot one to how I want Dirt Rally 2.0 set. So now I have changed those. Uh, I'm not saying these are great settings. This is, like I said, just one person's recommended settings. And now here's where we have to hope that this whole thing proves its worth. I've just changed my slot one settings to be Dirt Rally 3.0 instead of ACC. But I had already saved ACC, an ACC uh, profile. Now I'm in Dirt Rally 2.0 and I say general. I'm going to save. I'm going to set as default. So now if you look at if I say Dirt Rally 2.0, my slot number one has my Dirt Rally 2.0 settings, you know, 540 degrees, 75%. If I go back to ACC, slot one has my ACC settings, 1080 degrees, 100%. And if you look at control panel, slot one is set to my Dirt Rally 2.0 setting because I just tuned it. I just tuned slot one on the wheel when I tuned it here. So um, your active profile can be changed by double clicking on it here. So when I had my active profile as Dirt Rally 2.0, then this and the Fanatec control panel show that slot one is my Dirt Rally 2.0 settings. But if I go back to the game profile, I go to ACC, now it says my active profile is ACC. If I go to the tuning menu, it's my ACC settings. And in fact, slot one in the Fanatec control panel are my ACC settings. So this is all I really wanted at this point, is that I can just have slot one assigned as my kind of general purpose settings for each sim. And then they will automatically select those when I launch the sim. That's what we have to prove. Um, I'm going to just try launching from inside the game. So notice that right now, or inside Fanalab, notice that right now that my tuning slot one is 1080, 100%. That's my ACC setting. I'm going to load Dirt Rally. I'm going to launch Dirt Rally 2.0 by double clicking. And it's set to launch it from Steam. That's why this little thing is green. So now it's launching it. And if I go back to my Fanatec control panel, notice that it is slot one, which is what my wheel is set to, is set to 540 degrees, 75%. It is set to my Dirt Rally setting preferred setting. If I go back to Dirt Rally, I quit it. Now uh, my slot one on the wheel is still set to that. It was the last thing it was set to. And if I go back to, oh, Fanalab is not running. Why is that? I'm not sure why that is. Um, let me just launch it again. That was weird. Something you may have to figure out. But now my slot one on my wheel is set to my Dirt Rally 2.0 settings. But now I'm going to launch ACC from here. I believe I could also launch it directly from Steam and it would um, 
this would also work, that it would automatically know that it's, notice that I was running it. That's the way it's supposed to work. If I go back to the Fanatec control panel, now slot one is set to ACC. So this is perfect. I'll just have slot one, it'll get picked. It'll get programmed based on the SIM that I launch. So there you go. That's the basic functionality. I don't know why Fanalab uh, closed when I closed um, Dirt Rally that time. Maybe I accidentally closed it. Uh, but there's a lot more, a lot more that it can do. The main reason some people use this is to program these incredibly complex LED functionalities. Um, you can decide what's displayed constantly, what gets priority over other things. Now on the McLaren, on the McLaren uh, wheel, we just have this one uh, alphanumeric display. And so it is set to, uh, it is set to constantly display the speed, but then display the gear on change. That's that's all it's set to do right now. I could find out if I can enable telemetry, if it's not already enabled, if I could use that to start doing more things on that display. So that'll be really cool. I just didn't want to deal with that yet. Um, if I go to uh, Dirt Rally 2.0 and make that my currently active profile and I go to the LED I can also see it here speed is constant gear is first priority so they're all set the same speed is constant gear is first priority uh, and you can see here that lap number and position are like my only other options I don't know if that's because I haven't like connected the telemetry for this or not but that'll be great fun to play with and I don't know anything about the dynamic force feedback um, and what's available in this wheelbase or these sims but uh, yeah we'll worry about that later so far I've figured out that this can do exactly what I want and I will just put my preferred settings in slot one and it will pick them for me and that's a great start so there you go